cabinet should be equity in the world. <laughs> Now then crew and welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now we've been doing lots and lots of work on Tall Girl Holly's DR200, the little Suzuki farm bike that she's got. And uh, we're getting, I won't say close to having it finished, but we've done, you know, so far. Uh, we've done the front wheel bearings. So yeah, Holly, you can read it out, girl. We've done the front disc. Yep. The front caliper overhaul. Jeez, remember that yesterday, yep. Rear wheel bearings. Yep. Rear brake shoes. We did. Swing arm bearings. Don't remind me about the swing arm bearings. That was a palaver, wasn't it? Getting that bolt out. Jeez. Yeah. Now we're on to the clutch lever. We are, yep. Yeah. The, the the actual perch on the bike has been damaged. It's, it's snapped. Basically, somebody's fallen off at some point. Levers hit the ground, and it's just destroyed the perch. So we've got a second-hand perch and lever. I did notice there's a little bit of play in the lever. It's, it is a bit, a bit worn. But it'll do for now, and I'll order a new lever, but we need to fit the perch. That's, that's the big job. So that's what we're going to do next. Cool. Easy. So you grab that. We'll head over to the bike and see what bits we need to take off so we can get this new perch fitted. Here we go. Right, Holly. Uh, the plan of attack here is we're going to need to remove the, um, the actual grip. Now, that's probably going to be bonded to the bars, and they're pretty worn, so we'll get you some new grips anyway. So we can't fit a new grip today, but we can cut the old one off. To do that, we've got to remove the bush bar and the electric switch as well and then we can basically slide on the new perch down the handlebars pretty sure the bars aren't bent we'll find out when you start riding what we if they are well let's put some new bars on as well won't we yeah uh, but you can see here look the perch is all broken away it should should fit down there there should be some more of the clamp the clamp's broken Th this is junk uh, one of the real neat features about these uh, these farm bikes is they have the ability to be able to pull the clutch in and lock the clutch in the in the in position we've got a little lever that locks it in and that's for the farmers so when they're opening gates and stuff they don't have to worry about taking it back into neutral yeah they can leave it in gear and just jump off which is awesome i think It'd be quite useful when you're riding wouldn't it yeah okay so we need some tools we're going to need uh, a number five allen key socket and a ratchet for that one uh, we can leave the main clamp on the bars it's just this front piece we need to take off and a star screwdriver posi screwdriver for this side let's get rid of this first and then we'll get the standing knife out and we'll Cut that clean off. Cool. Excellent stuff. Okay, so you've got the Allen key there, haven't you? Yeah. Perfect. Right, you can undo that bolt just down there. Look. Six. six. Oh, I was wrong. It's a six. Blame me. It's all good. <laughs> Right, while you're doing that, I'm going to get this uh, this screw undone at the end here, look. Cool. <laughs> Is it tight? Yeah. <laughs> if you want, you could use that uh, that big ratchet power bar yeah. thing with a, with a half inch socket. Try that. I, don't, I hate to see you struggle. <laughs> Jeez, this is all chewed up, it's all bent. We might have to just rive it out once you've got your end off, I think. Fix it on the bench. Is that easier? Yeah. Wow, that's tight, isn't it? It's like it's gonna struggle. Well, if it does, don't worry, I've got a spare, I've got a spare mount. It's not the end of the world. Jeez, that is tight, isn't it? doesn't help the fact that the whole thing's bent as well, isn't it? No. Does it have that, actually? It's a bit tedious with a big bar like that, isn't it? Yeah. So much easier. 
Right, now I'm going to have to just wiggle this out of here because it's all chewed up anyway. And the way that they sit in, it's just like an expandable rubber grommet thing. Yep. That swells up inside the bars and just locks it in. But as you can see, when the guy fell off, he's bent, he's bent the bolt and everything, so I couldn't really undo it, to be honest. So I'll have to have a look around, see what other bits and pieces I've got to fix that. It might just be a case of replace the bolt and we're good to go. Sure. You know? Right. Okay, we're going to need a blade. Let me go and grab that for you. Okay, it's still quite sharp. Be careful. I'm going to stand well back. You might take a few passes to dig your way through. It's quite tough stuff. Mind your fingers. Jeez. Yeah, if you go back to your start again, just do another score down the same groove, probably. There you go. You can hear the metal now, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they usually glue them on, and it's probably the original grip from new. Yeah. So we might need to just... Oh, there you go. Look. Perfect. Right, let me just score up the top side of there, look, as well. There you go. Easy. Okay, switch gear. Uh, small, a small or oh, medium sized star, I think, for that one. Cool. Now, sometimes these screws are different lengths, so just remember which one comes out of which hole. Cool. And it shouldn't rotate on the bars like that. There should be a little pin, but it's probably got snapped off when the other guy fell off. Yep. So I'll uh, see what I can come up with with that one. Here we go. Good job. I wasn't doing a very good job holding it, was I? All these little jobs that all take time, don't they? Yeah. Oh, that They're was me. That was me. It was completely me. Jeez. Any spiders? There's always spiders in these things, you know that? <laughs> always. Okay, uh, so with your blade, carefully, if you just want to scrape off the rest of that res that, that glue that's there and stuff, because we'll leave that off for later on. Cool. Jeez. That's it. Just, just run it down the bar. It should just... That's it. Now, um, one of the tricks, what some people use, once the bar's nice and clean, is you can actually use, um, other than glue, if you haven't got any glue, you can use a hairspray. You know? Yeah. And that's, it's a trick that I'm told. It doesn't work brilliantly, but it does work a bit. I might take some sandpaper on that later on. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of petrol, trying to dissolve the glue and stuff. I just want to get the thick off so that the perch slides over nicely. Cool. That'll do. That's all right. I've got my work cut out right now. Okay, so the next job is we need to separate the actual old perch and get the cable out. So, let's see how we're going to do that. Undo the actual adjuster, I think, out of the perch. Hopefully the cable's in good nick, I haven't checked, to be honest. That should come through there, there we are, look. God, it's all broken. That should come through there, there we go. And then the adjuster, if we just line that up, the adjuster will come out as well. Brilliant. Right, do you want to give the cable a quick check and see what sort of nick that's in, see if I have to buy a new cable at some point. Any broken strands on it? you see any, any strands sticking out? No, it looks good. Yeah? Cool, perfect. One less thing to have to buy, eh? Good job. Hell of a project, this one, you know. Yeah. It's turning out to be quite a job. Right, okay, we need the new or replacement um, lever and perch. Do you know how to grab that? Yeah. Easy. Okie dokie. Okay, if you want to slide that down, it should just go down with, that, with the bolt in place. Hasn't got an adjuster on, has it? No. Jeez, what were they doing? Been shortchanged. Do we need to give it a sand down first? Yeah, I think um, we do. Yeah, it's a bit rusty, isn't it? All right, let me find some sandpaper. 
<coughs> right, I think these all work brilliantly. These are actually snapped finger file belts. Yeah. I was using the other day, so you can just wrap that over and give it its 80 grit, so it should work pretty well. Yeah, but mainly that rusty bit, isn't it, that we're after? I think before I fit the new grip later on, I'll give them, I'll, I'll spray that part of the bars as well, so they're not going to rust again. Yeah. Harder to do it that way. It's a lot harder, <laughs> isn't it? What if I can get around this side for it? Let's have a quick go from this side for you. I don't know. I think I had a better angle than you, didn't I? <laughs> Seems to work pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. A bit underneath? Yeah. How's that? Is that going to work? Yeah. That should be enough to get on, shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, give that a try. Cool. There you go. I don't want to put any lube on it because I'm going to be spraying it later on. So. It's catching on the glue now. All right, pull it back off again. Let me see if I can get some more of that glue off. Promise not to not to cut cut to you. And oh, no, I will actually. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'll do a back blade. That'll work. I wonder what they use. I'll have to see if I can try and source the proper stuff for it. Yeah. Uh, Evo stuff, it's not like that, maybe. Because it's still a bit rubbery, it hasn't gone fully hard, has it? Yeah. It's that old blackboard sound, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Now it's on the chalkboard. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, see so you get on with that. There's still a little bit left, but we might be alright. Maybe. Once you get down here, it'll be fine. And your fingers. Yeah, mind your fingers as well. It'll go fly into the bend. Good job, we're in. Okay, so we're gonna have to reuse that reuse that adjuster, aren't we? Because this short changed me on that. So if you want to pop that back on the cable again, we shouldn't have really taken it off, but I didn't realise. That's it. And then good job. No, I'm not sure if the camera can see that or not. I think we can. We'll bring that down. Then you've got to thread that bit of cable through that groove there, look. Yep. All right. And then we should be able to screw the adjuster into the actual perch itself. So maybe a bit further down with you. There you go. That's it. There you go. So that should now, if you run that down, you should be able to get those threads screwing into there. You can pull it your way a little bit if you want. It's still, still good on the camera. Not easy, is it? No. What's this bit here? I think that's lined up. Is that supposed to be there? No. Oh, that's part of that bracket, isn't it? Yeah. Part of that um, that release mechanism that used that to key onto it. Doesn't look like it's going to line up. Doesn't, does it? Have they sold me a bent component. Oh, is it? oh there we are. Look. Ah. That. There. Try again. Cool. So they've used that just to to, to mount that because this is an afterthought. This this additional farmer clutch lock system. Get you some spray. What have we got? Here you go, a bit of forge, full service. You can't beat a bit of full service these days, can you? There you go, try that. It's 
probably a bit munted in there. Yeah. Bit of crap in the threads as well. Yeah, and sometimes people adjust them too far out and then the threads get damaged. Do you want a pair of pliers to put on, on here? Would Should be okay now. It's all turned up. Oh, perfect. Good job. Right, that, that'll probably do for now, and then we'll have to adjust it later on, but... Now, to get, to get the cable onto the lever, we're going to need to undo the lever bolt. So you need a 10mm socket and a ratchet, and I'm going to need a 10mm spanner. And you can see, look at the play on there. Pretty worn, isn't it? I like this camera position, it's really good. Because it moves with the bike. It's great. <laughs> Alright, did you get me a spanner? Oh, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Honestly. Yes, please. Because sometimes the bolt's also threaded into the actual perch as well. That's just like a lock nut. That's it. Can you, is it oh, is that is it jammed? Yeah. It has, hasn't it? Poor ratchet. It's not often it does it. So we go. Chuck us the socket up. Maybe it needs some love, hang on. Yeah, I'll try that. Sorry, it's always again. I'm gonna rag somewhere. Yeah, oh on the lathe look just behind you. Yeah. Cool, yeah. That's better. It's working as a ratchet now, isn't it? Yeah. It's had a hard life, that ratchet. <laughs> there you go. Right, so the question is, is it is that bolt threaded as well into the perch? Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. So we might be able to push it through. Looks like it is threaded. It is threaded, isn't it? Yeah. Let's give that a go. Right, good to go on this side. If you grab the lever, because it's going to drop down. Otherwise, there we go, I've got that. And then pull the lever out of the joint. There we are. Now, we've got to tilt it over and get the nipple into the end of the lever there, look. Oh, there we are, right. Now, this is only temporary, because we are going to fit a new lever at some point. But it's only a five minute job now, we've changed the perch. There we go. Right, so that should now go back down into its hole. There we are, look. Cool. And there's plenty of old grease and stuff in there, so we're not even gonna bother to clean it up because I need to do all that when I when I swap it out. Right, just chuck as your ratchet up. Ta. Cheating, that's the easy way of doing it, isn't it? <laughs> Getting me to do all the work. What the hell? Right. Yeah, it still moves freely. So you just got to wind, wind that up. I'll hold it this side. There you go. Perfect. Good job. Don't over tighten it because I won't be able to undo it later on. <laughs> I know how strong you are, honestly. <laughs> Right, so now that's on, we can actually adjust the adjuster back out to get some of the free play. But I think before we do that, we're just gonna, we're gonna mount it on the bars, just in a random sort of position for now, somewhere, something close, and then when you're actually on the bike, we'll set it up properly. Yeah. Um, but we need an eight mil socket now to tighten that up. Ratchet's down there, look somewhere. Cool, yeah, you can't really see, can you? Hold it. There you go. If you hold the hold the lever in about that kind of position for us, 
I'm just give it a nip up. Now, if you over tighten these things, they tend to, it'll break the perch again. That's not the reason why the last one broke. That's because he fell off. Okay. okay so at the moment, you see we've got. Jeez, that clutch cable's not so good. That's going to need some lube in it. But you see, we've got way, we've got hardly any movement, and we've got way too much free play. Yeah. So if you wind that adjuster out now, and that'll that'll actually move the lever further out and reduce the free play. Uh, so keep going till till it's almost touching, and then we'll see how it feels. Uh, just be conscious of how many threads are left in the in the actual um, aluminium as well, because mm -hmm. if, if you go too far out, then it damages the threads. Probably about there. Would be try there. there. Yeah, try that. Jeez, that clutch cable is terrible. I'm not a new clutch cable. I'll see how much they are in. Yeah. Because that's that's actually quite hard to pull in. Yeah. So I think you'll struggle with that a bit. Mm. Okay, so we need new clutch lever and a new clutch cable. Yeah. And that's going to make it nice and light for you, and it's going to stop this flopping around. But you can see with the yeah when you when you've got it to where you want it to be, you just lock off that that little ring there, and that that basically holds it in position so it doesn't move around. Cool quite easy um, but you can see here this is how this is supposed to work it holds the clutch in for you yeah but because there's so much play on the lever it doesn't it's not actually guaranteed so you might get off your bike put it on its stand and the vibration causes that. Uh, it shoots off <laughs> yeah the bike's <laughs> off down the field on its own it's like hey wait for me you know yeah. so it's, it's actually quite important that, that that play because of this additional system on it that play isn't there yeah so we'll get you a new lever and I'm sure that that'll sort it out easy cool. job done so there's no point in putting the, well, we can put the electrics back on, I suppose, can't we, for now? Yeah. So if you grab the back for that and the two screws, we'll screw that back in. But we'll leave, uh, obviously, I'll have to get you some new grips. There you go. I'll try and do a better job of holding it this time. Because <laughs> I was pretty bad the first time around, wasn't I? Yeah. There you go. I can move it around a bit if you want. There you go. Whenever I'm near this bike, I'm constantly looking around for spiders because they just keep <laughs> popping up from all over the place. Don't they, they do. It's just infested. It is. Nothing a good water blast will solve there. <laughs> you know, it's such a good camera angle. This I don't. I just don't need to keep moving the camera around. It's great. <laughs> Where those little plastic lugs break off on the switch gear, sometimes you can just put a tiny drill. You can flat it off, put a tiny drill down, and put a little self-tapping screw in there. Yeah. And that gives it the it, st it stops it moving around because there's nothing worse than than your switch gear being like you know as soon as you press a button it moves around all the time. It's bloody annoying to be honest. Right. Done. Sort of. We need a new cable and a new lever. Other than that, it's like a new one. <laughs> well. There you go, crew. Super short video. Is this really the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel, you say? Well, it is. It's not a difficult job to do, to be honest. But I'm pleased we've done it while Holly's been here because we've highlighted we need some more parts. We need a new uh, clutch lever because it's worn and that's causing it to flop around and, and for that automatic little lever system to hold the clutch, you know. Disengaged isn't going to work. It's not going to be reliable and it could cause an accident. And there's a lot of drag on that clutch cable. Yes, I could probably fill it with some three in one oil and work it nice and clean again but in all honesty they tend to you know goo up pretty quickly after that so i'll just buy a new one and then it's good for years to come isn't it yeah yeah because we need to make it as light as we can on the clutch because well holly's only got little tiny hands show, show the people how small your hands are a tiny look that's a normal size hand yours is tiny <laughs> So, you know, trying to reach those levers and pulling the clutch, especially if you're just riding off-road and it's constantly changing gear, it does give you a bit of risk take after a while, you know. It's, it, it is. If I'm out on a, on a long ride, you know, after a while you do you do start to, look, well, appreciate a light clutch lever, honestly. A hard clutch, an old Dominator 650 I had, a Honda, that had a really heavy clutch lever. Because of the cable, and being a mechanic, I couldn't bother to fix it. I just rode it for 4,500 kilometres around the South Island, and by, by the end of the week... My hand was throbbing. It was really hard work. In fact, I just gave up. I just chose a gear and stuck in that. I couldn't be asked to change gear anymore. It was that hard. But anyway, 
Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. We, we're one step further to getting Holly's bike uh, back together and all fixed up so she can go and tear ass around Woodhill uh, with tall girl Lily, hopefully on her farm bike and uh, well, have some fun basically. Yeah, should be a laugh. I, you, you're eager to get on the bike, aren't you, I think? Yeah. Yeah, it should be good. Every job we do, it's like, oh, is it finished yet? No, no, we've still got, we need more cardboard. We, we've got we've got a list of stuff to do, and this is only one of the pieces of cardboard. There's, there's going to be more stuff to do than that, believe me. But the good news is we are getting there. So if you want to, if you haven't already, why not click on the subscribe button? Uh, our friends at YouTube will send you an email as and when we upload any new videos. And that way you're not going to miss any of this series. This is probably video six or seven by now. And there's probably going to be about 20 videos in the series, uh, getting this bike sorted out. Uh, and there's about 550 other videos on the channel that, um, you know, if I haven't uploaded a video for a while, dig back into the archives. There's a much younger Andy Mechanic hiding there for you to have a watch. And uh, some pretty good technical videos as well, and diagnostic ones. Uh, you'll also find me on... Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and Twitter. Brilliant. So we're getting really slick now. We've, this is like the seventh video now we've done this weekend. And, and you're getting really... The, the first one, man, it was embarrassing, wasn't it? It, yeah. was, it was pretty... Holy crap, Andy, you put me on the spot, you know? But we got there. There's still always in different orders. <laughs> the or Every single video we do, Holly, I'm sure she did it deliberately. She says them in different orders, so I've got to rearrange all the icons and stuff. And... It's fun. It's always fun. Um, now, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by buying some merch. You can go down to zazzle.co.nz. There's a link in the description. You can get yourself a, a mug. In fact, Holly, go and grab that mug from over there. Look, let's, let's show the people the official Andy Mechanic mug. With... Or the other one. Oh, the other one, the one, the one with the Snickers bar in for my afternoon snack. Yes. There you go. Look. Uh, and by the way, they're, they're not a sponsor, but I do like Snickers. They're great. But there you go. There's the mug. Show the people. Yes. Yeah. Official Andy Mechanic mug. You can get that from Zazzle. There's also a range of other mugs on there as well. And, uh, you know, once you get the mug, send me a picture through. Why not? So that I, can, I might use it in some of my social media stuff. Um, also, you can go on to uh, Patreon, become a patron to the channel. And you can do a donation through that. Or you can just do one straight through PayPal if you like. And it's the same email address for PayPal. Okay, crew. Well, we've, we've got a few more jobs to do for the rest of the afternoon. So we better crack on. But, uh, you know, I've enjoyed it so far. How about you? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, crew. We'll see you in the next video. It's goodbye from Andy Mechanic. And goodbye from Tall Girl Holly. Good job, Tall Girl Holly. Well done. Get the, get the, get the, get the. Oh, I...